A lot of people think that science is just Bunsen burners and chemicals, but it is absolutely not. So on today's graduate tour, we're taking you behind the desks of the people that are making hearing a possibility for those who are born deaf or become deaf through injury or just through old age. Let's go. Hi Sam, thanks for coming. Let's get going, we've got a lot to get through. So I guess firstly, what is a cochlear implant? Some people lose hearing because they have damage in the cochlea or the inner ear. The cochlear implant actually provides electrical stimulation to the nerve and it then sends a signal to the brain and then you can hear sound. Wait, so it's not like a hearing aid? No, a hearing aid actually increases the volume or amplifies the sound around you. We do have two parts to our device, the implant and also external. Hi Kate, how are you? Thank you, how are you going? Good, Kate's one of our recipients and she is actually wearing the external part that I was just talking about. This is the sound processor. It takes my voice or sound from the environment, converts it to a signal through the coil and then the implant underneath the skin takes over the rest of the work. So the implant looks like this and this is actually invisible and this is what Kate was wearing. Uh, it is a very short surgery, about an hour for this to be implanted. Wow. Okay, and so what's happening in there? That's our impact tester. Do you want to see? Absolutely. This wow. is our impact tester. The implant is actually made of many different materials and as you can imagine in daily life lots of things can happen. You can be playing sport, you can be tackled, ball sports, you can get hit in the head and then also as a toddler they fall all the time and they often hit their head. So we want to make sure that the implant can withstand a variety of situations and so we actually test like this. Oh, you wouldn't want to get your hand in there. No, you wouldn't. It would actually break your hand. Oh, so, can you tell me why you love what you do? Hearing is one of our five major senses and people can experience hearing loss at birth quite suddenly through a virus or an accident or gradually over time. But I think maybe the best way for me to show you is this video and this is a little guy that is actually hearing for the first time. Hi Cooper. <gasps> Hi Cooper. <laughs> That's incredible. So where are they made? They're actually made right here. Do you want to come see? Absolutely. Come this way. Our implants are actually made here, right here in Sydney. And we have lots of materials, processes, equipment that all needs to come together to build the implant. So what did you study? I studied material science at UTS. I have a Bachelor's of Science and also a Master's of Science in Material Science as well. Did you always want to work in health? No, I used to want to work for NASA and make space shuttle tiles. But then I got my first job in a pacemaker company, loved it and the rest is history. Right, so if cochlear implants have already been invented and people mm -hmm. are already using them, isn't your job as a scientist kind of done? Absolutely not. We're always looking at ways to improving our design, manufacturing processes, materials get lighter, we want them to be more durable, we want to listen to our new customer needs and most of all we want to increase the functionality of the device so our customers can hear like they've never heard before. And what's probably the biggest misconception you hear about science? The biggest misconception about science is that it's boring and it's absolutely not. Okay, well I'm actually conveniently at the exit so I might show myself out, is that okay? Okay, thanks a lot for visiting Sam. Thank you. Bye.